Whoa, we have some amazing news. A PlayStation 5 redesign, Grand Theft Auto 6 news update, Gran Turismo is now going to be an Olympic event and huge Returnal news fans have been clamoring for save states. Let's go. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, like, like, like. We have a couple of dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. And the first one, this is coming from T3.com. Sony plans a PlayStation 5 redesign to fix restock problems. The PlayStation 5 supply shortage is getting real. Sony is contemplating redesigning the PlayStation 5 in order to solve the PlayStation 5 restock woes. This is coming from Sony CFO Hiroki Totoki. Hiroki Totoki. He must have got picked at it in school. I mean, not because it's an Asian name. They rhyme. Hiroki Totoki. All right, but this is what he says. The shortage of semiconductors is one factor, but there are other factors that will impact on the production volume, said Totoki. All right, he goes on to say... That, for example, this is his, this is the exact quote. For example, to in order to solve these um, restock problems, he says we could find we could find maybe a secondary source or by changing the design. And so, for the CFO to come out and say changing the design of the console would help with the supply. Uh, chain um, that's going on right now is pretty huge what would they change in the design now if you just bought a playstation 5 should you be upset oh they're doing a redesigned ps5 already you don't have anything to worry about 10 out of 10 certain it's going to be the same processing power as the PlayStation 5 you currently have. They'll probably just take out parts that are in short supply and replace them with parts that are more ample supply to keep the supply chain going. It's already been reported. PS5 is close to 8 million consoles already. The best-selling console in U.S. history at this point in its life cycle and... A redesign could be on the way, according to Sony CFO Hiroki Totoki. Boy, all right. The next news item. Y'all remember the GTA Underwater uh, scuba diving missions? I hate underwater in games. I hated Lynx, a water tower. All right, all right, all right back to the news. But. GTA 6 could be closer than you think. Bruh. This is coming from charlieintel.com. A new Rockstar job listing hints that GTA 6 is almost finished. What is the job listing? Rockstar is hiring for testers for to find bugs, write reports, and make sure a game is functioning properly. And so, all they usually do this when a game is close to completion and they're doing the last 
Um, the last minute testing of the game. <coughs> Cyberpunk. <coughs> Test your game before you launch it. But it looks like um, um, GTA 6 could be almost finished. Now, I didn't explicitly say GTA 6, but what other huge AAA game is Rockstar working on? The whole wide world knows they're working on um, GTA 6. And so, according to this news article, GTA 6 could be closer to completion than we thought. Interesting to see. We already know Sony and Rockstar has some kind of um, collaboration going. Uh, GTA 5 was the first game shown where they were revealing the PlayStation 5. Ironically, I don't know why they would do that. But, uh, points to possibly, possibly, there could be some collaboration with Sony, PS5, Rockstar, GTA 6. Let's go get it. And the next news item, we're going to end with Returnal. Returnal, last news item we're going to talk about because we got to talk about this save situation and the developers know that we need it. But before we get to Returnal, bro, check out the headlines for this article. This is coming from thedrive.com. Gran Turismo is now an official Olympic sport. Wow. Being more about athletes and their equipment, the Olympic Games have always shielded away from motorsport. Several things have always get, gotten in the way. Cost complexity. Blah, blah, blah. Um, now, the International Olympic Committee is embracing digital competition. And with it, the potential to equalize racing. Blah, 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 blah. All right, this groundbreaking moment for motorsports will be held as part of the Olympic Virtual Series. The organization's inaugural event for esports, both physical and not especially so. Racing in Gran Turismo Sport will fall in the later category. And so, according, this is the Olympic Virtual Series esports. You're going to start to get olympic medals for e sports for playing video games and one of the games that are included and i think it's going to be one of the first games racing in gran turismo sport now an official olympic sport that's crazy and the whole wide world can't deny how big um, esports has become especially with the coronavirus right now doing things digitally bro that's dope 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 for gamers and the last news item for this video returnal my new favorite sci-fi shooter We'll see what Metro Prime 4 does. But as if it as of right now, it's all about Returnal. The game is amazing. The game is fantastic. And it looks like we're going to be getting an update soon with the ability to save our game progress. A big um, issue right now is when you die, you go all the way back to your crash site. Starting from scratch, I mean, you don't have to redo, I think, bosses, and you get some progression from your previous run-through, but if you want to just get away from the game and pick up where you left at, you have to put your PS5 in uh, rest mode. I tweeted out on Twitter, we're getting to the news item, but I tweeted out on Twitter, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Obi1Plays, for the giveaway you have to anyway. Giveaways in one day. But I said, my PS5 Returnal has, is keeping my PS5 um, in host, as hostage. I can't go to any other game without losing my progress, bro. And so, that's been an issue with Returnal. But, the game developers, Housemark, they have just tweeted out 
This is in a reply to a Reddit post. No need to be toxic about people who need save options. And they said, we hear the community and we love you all. Nothing to announce now, but keep playing and enjoying the challenge as you can. Because some people are saying, oh, the ability to save the game is going to dumb down the game, the experience. Keep your artistic vision. Bro, that's not what it's about. We're not, um, most, the, the, this Reddit is not saying we want, if we die, to, um, to be able to just start at the last checkpoint right where we just left off. We died the boss, we start right at the boss. That's what they're saying. People are saying we want the ability to just save and quit. <laughs> like, if we're at a certain point in the game and we die, they don't have a problem going back to the beginning. They just want, while they're playing, something comes up, I gotta save, I gotta quit, and I can just return back to where I was. That's not changing the difficulty. Even dying and starting at a, a closer checkpoint, I don't even think, that's not affecting the difficulty. You still gotta get good to beat the boss, but you don't have to redo all the parts that you've already mastered in the game. So I'm here for both options, bro. Save me time, bro. I'm a busy adult with kids and, uh, and a wife. And, and so um, whatever they can do to save time in the game. But that aside, perfect game. 10 out of 10. Loving, loving, loving the game. All right, dudes. Those are all of the news items for this stream. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Oh, my son wants to come in. It's about to be his birthday, too. I think that's Samuel. All right, Samuel's here. He got on his Pokemon Charizard shirt, boy. And he turns, how old are you going to be? Eight tomorrow. Tomorrow is Samuel's birthday. So in the comment section of this video, make sure you say happy birthday to Samuel. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we're out of here. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.